Thanks, Megan. I'm Daniel Hill, Community Manager at VoiceBrew. I've been working in the voice space for a couple of years now. I'm very passionate about helping people to get the most out of new technology. I'm going to tell you about the top five trends that we're seeing in voice this summer, and I'll also give some tips and tricks and predict some future trends. Here are the top five trends that we're seeing in voice this summer. First, as people start to travel more and restrictions are eased, people are spending more time in the car. And we're seeing people use the voice assistant capabilities to do things like turn the car on before they get in, make sure the air conditioning is blasting before they get into the car. So this way they're stepping into a comfortable environment. The number four thing that we're seeing this summer is people using routines in order to turn devices on and off inside the house for cost savings. It doesn't make sense to keep the air conditioning blasting when you're not home, but maybe you wanna turn it on about 30 minutes before you do get home. You could do that with a routine. We're also seeing people purchasing new devices instead of traveling. Maybe they're upgrading things within their home. Maybe they're buying some new appliances. And although they may not specifically be looking for voice enabled devices, they're expecting the new devices that they have to be voice enabled so that when they get them home, they join the, those new appliances to their Wi-Fi network and they can control them using their voice assistant. People continuing their audio experience wherever they go. Maybe they wake up in the morning, start to listen to a podcast or an audio book on their smart speaker. Then they get in the car, maybe they drive to work and they expect that audio experience to continue from wherever they left off. Then maybe they go for a walk at lunchtime and they use their AirPods or earbuds and they continue in that same audiobook or podcast. And then when they get home, that same audiobook or podcast transfers exactly where they were in listening to their smart speaker so that they can listen to the rest. That's something that people are definitely using more of as they go out and travel. And the number one trend that we're seeing this summer is people purchasing voice devices for friends and family as gifts as restrictions are starting to ease and people are traveling and visiting friends and family again. Now let's go on to three commands that I'm seeing right now as trending. The first is remember where I parked. You can tell your voice assistant to remember where you've parked when you get out of the car. This way you don't have to think about it later. The second is in-car experiences. When you're spending time on the road, maybe you're on a road trip with family, playing a game like Song Quiz, which really gets everyone involved and makes the time you're traveling go much faster. The third trend that I'm seeing right now is teaching your voice assistant to say your name correctly. If you have a name that's very easy to mispronounce or people often mispronounce it and you're trying to correct them politely, you don't want your voice assistant to be saying your name wrong. Three future trends that I'm predicting in voice is number one, more personalization around people's preferences. People want to be able to determine how their smart speaker works, how it interacts with their other devices, and they want to be the ones to determine that, not necessarily the device manufacturer or developer. Another trend that I'm predicting in voice number two is custom wake words. People may have a variety of different reasons for choosing different wake words. Maybe they have a family member or friend with a name that is similar to the device's wake word, and so they want to be able to customize it. People certainly should have that option. And the third trend that I'm predicting in voice is more full day audio experiences where you can continue to do the same things that you do at home, no matter where you are with what voice assistant happens to be nearby, whether you own that device or not. If you'd like to know more about trends in voice, tips and tricks, and what other things are coming, check out the Voice Brew newsletter at voicebrew.com. And you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Daniel Hill Media. Thanks so much, and back to you, Megan.